cheat over this one for some reason. Good morning, guys. We're headed to a major accident with the local sheriff's department. The uh, call on the scanner originally came in as a two vehicle head on accident on the back side of the uh, 36 Bridge, kind of over by Freeport Jones Creek, which is in that construction area, so it's real tight and congested over there. What's that? Nope. I. It's my third one in the last four hours. God dang. Busy. It's his third wreck. A, what is this? Part of something. Not sure exactly what. It's part of something. Snap me some pictures. Sheet over this one for some reason. How's it going? See, I, I, when as soon as I pulled up, I thought, yep. what, you remember the name of it? Tyler. Tyler, okay. Yeah, I, uh, as soon as I pulled up, I, I recognized, I recognized the, so did we get this on rotation or request? It's on rotation. Rotation, okay. Just making sure. Yeah, but your mom called about us, so. How's he doing? He ended up getting live out he has some loose ribs and stuff. Okay. Not. He was coming kind of high, kind of like, Yeah. So. Dang. That sucks. How's the other one? He was responsive to it. He just had like a lot of uh, injuries up to his leg. So like, he was responsive to that about what that was going to Right. As long as everybody was responsive and good. Yeah. Friend of one of our other drivers was driving this one. Right, 
Might have to get my other bridle. Might have to on this one. Huh? Somewhere I need to take my phone out of my pocket before I bend it, lay it on the ground. I got so much crap on these new vehicles. Obviously, don't have to worry too much about. Steering it. It's gonna kind of do whatever it wants on this one. I don't know. Uh, the wheel is turned. I don't really want to get in here. That's not even attached to nothing. slide this way for me. Wheel is gonna fight me. I'm gonna barely float the bed here. Pull forward. time the front ends coming around that cross member there goes might have to reset one more time Definitely gonna have to reset one more time. I don't have enough room. This one is gonna be. this one oh, I can do that I don't know what that is but it comes in handy Expecting that wheel to be more jammed than it really was. I'll try to straighten it back out. If it will. 
make sure this other side is up. It's up. here behind me cleaned up real quick so I can get off the top of all this other stuff here Just reopened to this section of highway. Just gonna sweep up the mess where I'm gonna be pulling my truck back so we don't have to redo that. box back up. Box up. I don't hit it on nothing. Go back straight up here. on this one. on it. Alright, it's secured enough. We get some of the big pieces here. Slide those under. Throw those inside when I get back over there. This 
scattered stuff here since we can't really sweep this stuff up and make quick work of the other stuff. Yeah, no, it's all over the place. Wherever the mother wrecks at. Uh, Main Street is 232, or by Sarah's. Yeah. And then one on uh, 300 block of uh, 288 South Town. Dang. Looks like she got a uh, hit from the driver rear quarter panel. Uh huh. And knocked her off into his uh, ditch. Ah, dang. She uh, packed the front tire. I don't know where the hell that person that we're with, it's just God dang. I just, as soon as I was getting done with this one, I was, they, uh, there was a big like stolen, like, like chop shop, kind of like stolen recovery stuff over in like Rochere and Alvin area. We were, like the, you ever watch the videos like the takeover meets where they do donuts and stuff in the middle of the road? They have a, concrete pad over in Rocheron where they do that stuff and they were they had the road blocked up so they called rotation and there was like eight wreckers out there just dragging them out of the ditch and then we went I went back at like 4 a.m. this morning because they found a whole bunch of stolen cars out there Right? Grab my uh, shovel. Yeah, I've got, I got a couple more. Yeah, it's still down there. I'm gonna back up closer if I ain't gotta carry it. Mind you, this stuff's pretty big. Yeah. I really shouldn't have grabbed that. Oh God. Not Got with, blood all over it. Not without gloves.
Uh, yeah. As soon as I pulled up, they started swarming the windows. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. I had to go over like 20 foot Yesterday morning over at Demon Oh, no. It's like a, everything out there in the salt marsh. for clue. Hey, you, you can go that way, but he's coming from Jones Creek, so I was like, it's kind of the the I'm round out of the way, buddy. The roundabout I'm way. Like yeah, and he's like it Doesn't help when you're high and drunk, you know. Yeah, no. First three you said? That's it, yeah, that is what it is. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I guess two. Yeah, I'll throw one when I get to the yard. Thank, Thank you. you. Throw this in the truck real quick. Messed up. Small stuff. Yeah. I think that's kind of all the small stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I got my back down there. Jimbo. Stuff in here today, blowing around on us. That's metal. You don't need that for Back down there and pick up that wheel and pretty good.
get this uh, chunk of wheel and stuff here. I'm just gonna lower the bed down so we ain't gonna carry it so high. Mosquitoes are worse over here. Okay, you just slide it up underneath it there. Yeah, let me get it. That thing's gonna be heavy. Let's see if we just slide it right here. Where my chains will kind of. Hiding down it. Yeah. Nothing's going nowhere. I'll get it clear here and mess with it. Yeah, good enough. Wait, my transmission pan. Oh no. Somebody on this, some truck driver in Missouri is coming to get me. That's not good. No, it's not. Did you get pulling over trying to help people? Right. Good. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Go try to get some rest. Yeah, I mean, we signed our papers and they ain't said nothing, so. All right, I'm gonna head out. All right, buddy, be safe. Suck this down. Pinch that in there. We'll be good to go. We're back here at Angleton, going to uh, get this thing unloaded. Lower this down a little bit. I'm not gonna slide this over here so that it doesn't uh, get caught. I gotta let this off of just a little bit. So get my chain off of it. this on the ground I'm gonna set this off go so far back so that way it has some room for now. Let's see if this thing will roll off for us. Kind of expecting it to stop right about there. The other side obviously doesn't even have a wheel. I'm gonna chuck this one for safety. I'm going to uh, 
pick the or pick the bed up a little bit, bring it in just a little bit, about as far as I can suck the bed in and still be able to pick the rear up off the ground so I can walk it. This thing is pretty stable on the free spool. It will walk a lot faster. Pick up the rear tire there. Because the parking brake is still set. I know on this truck. I can bring the bed in about this far, right there, which is this fourth bed slot. So there's these four kind of inset bed slots. When that fourth bed slot comes even with the controls here, that's as far as I can go in and still be able to barely have enough to pick up the rear tires so that I can walk out from underneath it anymore and then the bed will kind of scrape the ground real hard which isn't ideal if you're in somebody's driveway or a parking lot or something out here on the dirt it doesn't really matter plenty of clearance on this one sometimes i would have pushed one more time on that but i wouldn't worry about it on this one get my hooks off of it here I did stop along the way once I got clear I didn't record it I went down the road to the next little parking lot and I strapped that door shut I gotta get that off of there get my uh, block out from in front of it Finish up my paperwork and go you know, clean the truck up a little bit. It's got a bunch of fluid and dirt and stuff on it now. I'm gonna go ahead, get all this done. Again, I knew I know the driver of this one, which is a friend of the people that work, some of the guys that work with us. Uh, so he was life lighted the other vehicle occupants were taken by ambulance i believe all of them i don't think were life-threatening but please keep them in your thoughts and prayers hope you guys enjoyed the video if y'all would please subscribe like and share